50, yeah, whatever it was, 54, and pretty much didn't do it for you. It, it helped me out a lot because I, I ran a good 5K at Stanford earlier on in the season. I ran 13.29, and so that was only nine seconds off the A standard. Right, right. And then after that, I ran a 340, 1500 at Carson. Yes. And we've been doing some ridiculous um, Which is a 356 uh, mile anyway. So, yeah. 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 And then I. Uh, run we got a couple of things that three weeks later I run the 354 for a mile and that's um, my like, thing is just is a big drop off of the 340 and I, I just knew I was in a lot better shape coming into this this race and uh, training was going awesome you had to how fast could you run tonight you had to run fast how fast could you run I think if it was a perfectly paced race if it was paced for sub 1320 I think I could have gone, sir. It's did, you hear, did you notice the wind out there or not? Um, I did. The first maybe five laps, I was still like, I wasn't really in the zone yet, and I was still noticing like pace and uh, the wind. I was looking at the clock, and then after like four or five laps, I, I just started concentrating on, I stayed relaxed, and I kind of blocked everything else out. So. And well it seems like you guys. I'll talk to you when I'm in the next week or so. Wait, you, you, you'll be around here for a while now, right? Or you're gonna you're I'm going to go Going back to Chicago on oh, Monday. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe we can actually get together in Chicago at some point. How long are you going to be there? Uh, 10 days, maybe. Uh, maybe we can get together in Chicago. Good. So, uh, well, I mean, in terms of the. Congratulations. It seems like, you know, Jerry doesn't race most of his guys. I mean, I think some of this is their second or third race of the year. Yeah. You've been racing a little bit more. Is that because you're younger or just because you got more speed? Or um, have you done a slightly different plan than them? Part, or? part of it is uh, Matt and Chris were both injured earlier on in the season. So he wanted to get them, uh, like, do a lot of workouts and get their strength back up before they started racing a ton. He didn't want them race sharp quite yet. Uh, and um, I'm more of a I'm shorter distance guy than they are. I'm like 15, 5K. So I was able to do some 1500s and without really taxing my body too much racing a lot. And what's your training like in terms of mileage? I know you're pretty low mileage coming out of high school. Um, well, I was really low mileage in high school. I've bumped up my mileage a ton. Uh, really started doing a lot more strength work this year um, than even last year because I was concentrating on the 1500. So most of my training is geared towards 5K right now. Right. And what, like, what's your mileage at roughly? I, I anywhere between. 75 and 90. Versus like 20 or 30 in high school? Well, yeah. My senior season was really bad. I was injured a couple times and I was like 30 to 40, 45 ish. So. And how, what percentage of the workouts would you say you do with these two other guys? Like, do you guys do everything together? Yeah, or? yeah we've, uh, since they've been working out, we've done everything together. Who, who comes out on top on the workouts? Uh, uh, not me. <laughs> Chris uh, or Matt usually, but yeah, I'm usually hanging on to the back, trying not to fall off. Thanks, Becky. Yeah, so either one of those two guys.